All right, in the car, in the car, in the car. Happy Saturday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here we go again. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. Happy Saturday. We have booked it out to Waikiki. There's already a buttload of people out here. There's a lot of tourists. My God. All right, fine. But we picked up this guy. So we have another surfboard now. We decided to get a Costco special, but we didn't even get it at Costco. We actually got it used. So it was an even better deal, uh, which is good because it's, it's more of a surfboard for myself and for Alex that we want to use it. But today, today we're going to take a guess on how many tries it takes John to stand up on his first wave. So we have his board here and I'm going to guess 30, 30 falls before he catches his first wave put down in the comments what you guys think because i i think he's gonna have a rough day he thinks it's gonna be super easy but i i wouldn't put it past him at some point in coming and getting this guy instead and putting his board down i am going to laugh so hard if he does that so let's bring you guys along for the ride let's go have a wonderful day today You gonna surf too? I think I'm gonna try. I would like to try. It would be a lot of fun. On the longboard? But uh, yeah, not on yours. <laughs> on Alex's new surfboard. That's really what this is, is Alex's surfboard. So we lucked out and we found some parking right next to the beach. Super happy about it. And now we are just getting the last little bits ready of the new surfboard, our Costco, <laughs> our Costco surfboard. We're right next to Diamond Head. Diamond Head is like right over there. And I've already had multiple people pull up and ask if we were leaving. Like we walked out big time because like uh, the main ab here in Waikiki is about to shut down for a parade, a float parade. And then you have a whole bunch of vendors right here. So it is, it is a busy day down here in Waikiki, which is normally why we don't come down here. But during the summer months, like this is this is where the, the waves are. going out there he said just to get you know an idea of it and then come right back nope hasn't come back try to wave at him he's, yeah, dude. he's doing his thing i don't know if he realizes how long he's been out there i was hoping he would come back and get the camera but he's being a turd and at this point probably intentionally avoiding the camera You didn't catch anything.
Well, it was a wrap. It was not quite the day that we were expecting, but I've come to the terms that any time that we have high expectations, it's not gonna happen. And all the times that I've ever had no expectations, that's when things, magic really happens. So, um, so from here on out, there'll be no expectations on surfing. Yeah. If we catch, if we catch it, it, awesome. I think John and I are both coming to terms with the fact that we are, we've got a lot to learn in terms of reading the ocean and yep. reading the waves. And so even though- just Reading the- Just catching the wave, a wave. Little- Yeah, so I- Gauge thing. I lines. think I am gonna be signing John up for a lesson. I think it's worth it. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to catch any waves. So I guess I was, I don't know, on bad luck. But I did figure out the board to where where I need to position myself on the board. Um, I tried to catch, there was like maybe four that I was gonna try to catch. Like three out of the four, I knew I wasn't gonna get it, but I was trying to figure something out. And so I kind of, Paddled to try to catch them, but I figured out that my positioning was too far forward going into the wave because then my nose was diving, so I didn't know to push back. Like it, it was nice to just get the workout because <laughs> it was a workout. I was out there for like how to what is that like an hour and a half? An hour and a half, yeah. And just paddling around, so like it's a it was a good workout. that is going to be a wrap <laughs> a little bit of a disappointing day hopefully it wasn't too much for you guys John and I definitely felt it um, I have since we got back cleaned up picked up put the boards away you know this guy I have mixed feelings about so I took this out myself after John came back in because he was too tired to go back out with the camera like he didn't want to come back in or go back out so I took this guy out and he, it was okay it was incredibly tippy it was shocking to me how easy it was to be able to just flip right over and fall. And this is one of those, you know, long boards. It's not the longest board, but it's a long board, you know, compared to this guy that we got, that we got for John. So it'll be kind of interesting, but because of that and our, because of our struggles, like John didn't even get to really tr attempt to get onto a wave. He really struggled with just finding the waves, timing the waves, because he would go to a spot that he would see wave at, and by the time he got there, the waves would calm. And then he would look over and he would see a different spot, so he'd go over there, and then by the time he got there, they were calm. And he would look back over to where he'd just come from, and the waves were like splashing over. And so I think John is finding out, like, I, he hasn't had as much time in the water as even I have. Like, I've been spending a lot of time in the water with Alex, and so you just have to have patience between these sets of waves. Like they're not continuous. They come and they go and they're maybe five minutes or maybe 10 minutes in between them. And when they're on, they're on. And when they're not, they're not. And have a little more patience. But either way, I think we need professional help. We are gonna sign John up for a class. So I've already done it. I decided that the private lesson is probably the biggest bang for my buck. And I've signed John up for a personal class. If you've enjoyed this video, even his craziest, hit, like, wasn't the most exciting of days. Mahalo to you. Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. We're gonna get better at this. <laughs>